Prince Harry offered a rare glimpse inside his house in a short video shared on his official Instagram account, where he is seen answering the door to pop star Ed Sheeran. Prince Harry published on his official Instagram account, Susk's Royal, a brief video where he can be seen opening his home's door to find Ed Sheeran waiting on his doorstep. In the video, which lasts only a few seconds, the Duke of Sussex welcomes singer Ed Sheeran calling him mate. The singer and the prince shake hands, with Ed asking how are you doing? Prince Harry then, joking, says it's like looking in a mirror. The singer asks if he can bring the camera inside, and is invited to enter Harry's home. The video cuts off, and a black screen teases viewers they will be able to discover more about what the couple are up to tomorrow. The brief video offers a chance to royal fans to take a brief look inside what looks like the home of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. And it reveals the Sussex's ring doorbell plays the tune of God Save the Queen, which can be heard in the first few seconds of the video. The collaboration between Ed Sheeran and Harry is likely to be related to World Mental Health Day, which is celebrated tomorrow. Prince Harry has been working relentlessly in the past years to make it easier for people to start a conversation on mental illnesses and mental well-being. And, in a tell-all interview, he opened up on his own struggles and the difficulties he faced following the death of his mother, Princess Diana. On Monday, a short film aired on all the British commercial channels to advertise Every Mind Matters, a new NHS platform pointing people suffering from mental health issues towards the help they need. Meghan and Harry, together with Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William, lent their voices to narrate the video. The launch of the platform was a success, and the website of Every Mind Matters was so visited shortly after the film aired that it crashed. The video was immediately welcomed with enthusiasm by royal fans. One said, Oh brilliant two of my favorite gingers. And I mean that in a loving and endearing way. Can't wait. Another said, this is like a dream come true. And a third added, wow two of my favorite people. Other royal fans seemed excited not only for the collaboration between the royal and the singer but also for the chance to take a look inside Frogmore Cottage. One said, I'm screaming right along with you. What 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 could it be? Was that Frogmore Cottage? Excuse me while I go faint again. Another social media user replied, saying, I'm thinking the same thing. I want to see inside the house. The video was published on Thursday morning to mark World Mental Health Day. Focusing on a hilarious misunderstanding, Ed and Harry speak about the need to raise awareness on a topic close to their hearts. In a video shared on Harry and Meghan Markle's Instagram page on Wednesday, the royal and the singer united for a sneak peek of their new collaboration in honor of World Mental Health Awareness Day on Thursday. The clip shows Sheeran ringing a unique doorbell, it plays the melody of God Save the Queen, then Prince Harry happily greets his guest with a hi, mate. It's like looking in the mirror, Harry, 35, jokes as he shakes hands with the 28-year-old pop star who shares his statement red hair and happens to also be wearing a grey polo shirt. Do you mind if I bring the cameras in? Sheeran asks, to which Harry replies, of course, yeah, come on in guys. A message then appears on the screen, coming soon. 10th of October hashtag WMHD. Prince Harry has been open about his struggles with mental health and has made mental wellness one of the key causes he champions. I think most of the stigma is around mental illness we need to separate the two, mental health which is every single one of us and mental illness which could be every single one of us, Harry said during his recent tour of Africa with Meghan. But I think they need to be separated, the mental health element touches on so much of what we're exposed to, these experiences that these kids and every single one of us have been through, he continued. Everyone has experienced trauma or likely to experience trauma at some point during their lives. We need to try, not eradicate it, but to learn from previous generations so there's not a perpetual cycle.